Hello everyone, uh, Ori Bloop here. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Uh, today I have a really quick uh, tutorial on how to teleport your uh, person node on to like basically any position on your map or uh, in a level or simply in like a different position. Uh, let's go ahead and just get right into it. it. It should not take that long. So go to edit and we're going to be making a really quick uh, third person camera. So uh, if you guys haven't seen any of my uh, other videos, I recommend you watch them because I do this a lot slower. I'm just going to go ahead and just speed through this just so the people that have seen my previous videos don't have to watch this for like the 100th time. So uh, it's a really quick uh, third person camera if, if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, but let me just do that. And then for the camera... Uh, y equals uh, 250 and Z equals 4. So if we go in the game, there we go. We have our basic third person camera set up. So now let's go ahead and uh, do our uh, teleport. So how this is going to work is we're going to have a sensor. So object sensors and we're going to do a touch sensor. So what will happen is if our person touches this uh, sensor, we want it to trigger some sort of teleporting thing that will teleport us to a different location. So how we do that is for the touch sensor, uh, for the touch sensor, what we want to do is for the check what, we want to uncheck those and just check for our person because it's going to only be teleporting our person. Um, and uh, that's what we need to do all for the touch sensor. Now, what we need is obviously our uh, teleporting objects. So we'll get our teleport object entrance and we will get our teleport object um, exit right here. We'll go ahead and put that all the way over here, um, just like that. And basically for these uh, for this teleport object, um, once our touch sensor is uh, given an input or once we touch it and it sends off an output, uh, we want it to teleport the object, uh, teleport our person. But the teleport object doesn't know what to teleport yet unless we connect it to our person. So uh, we can go ahead and just connect that like that. And uh, if we go to the settings for our teleport object, um, it's going to ask us what to teleport. And we just want to unselect those and just teleport our person because that's the only thing it's going to teleport. Um, and pretty much that's it for the teleporting. Um, so if we go ahead and go look in game, we have our uh, touch sensor box right here. And that is our uh, teleport exit. So if we go ahead and touch it, boom, there we go. We get teleported just like that. Um, and you can tell that we have a box around us. That is actually our teleport entrance. Um, and, and when we touch it, when we touch the touch sensor, it teleports the object itself. But um, let's say I wanted to make our touch sensor super, super far away. You know, um, this wouldn't be really good. It will get really messy if we have this connected like that. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and make this a lot simpler. Um, if we go ahead and disconnect our touch sensor from our uh, teleport entrance, we can go ahead and move it um, up uh, from our player. And what we're going to grab is our middle program layout, uh, wormhole entrance, uh, and, and then we're going to grab our wormhole exit. So for our uh, wormhole entrance, uh, we're going to go ahead and connect the wormhole entrance to our touch sensor and we will go ahead and grab our wor uh, wormhole exit and connect it to our uh, teleport entrance. So basically what is happening here is um, once our person touches uh, the touch sensor, it will send that output that from our touch uh, through this entrance for the wormhole and it will uh, exit through here and send that output to the uh, teleport object. And since it's connected to our player, it will send that teleport object, meaning our person uh, being the object, to the teleport e exit. So uh, that's basically the setup. And that means also, since we did that, we can go ahead and move our uh, touch sensor extremely far. 
and we can also do the same with our exit just just to test it out we're gonna put it like super super far like at the end end of the map we'll put it even higher just to show you guys that it really teleports you um so now if we go ahead and look in game uh, we can go ahead and see there we go. That is our touch sensor So we can't even see our uh, Our teleport exit, but if we go ahead and walk into it There we go. It's all the way up there um, We got teleported all the way out here. I'll show that one more time just because that's really cool um, You guys could could implement this in all types of maps and and teleport your player to some random location if you wanted to uh, so let's just go ahead and Boom, there we go. We can get a big overview of the plane. Um, so that's basically it for the uh, tutorial. Um, there's really not much to it. You could um, really play around with it and, and add actually different teleports if you wanted to by changing the letter like teleport A, teleport B. Um, but that's pretty much it for the, t uh, tutorial. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and hopefully you'll be able to implement this in, you know, a lot of your guys' projects because this has a lot of uses, but, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you, I, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, bye-bye.